here and hey everybody Sean here today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make egg muffins and we're gonna talk about how to do it in an instant pot quick cooker pressure cooker whatever the heck you want to call it this is a pampered chef version because we got a great deal on it and it works fantastic and they have a great um, they always take care of their products so that's what we want with them you could get whatever quick instant pot thing you want it doesn't matter works the same in all of them uh, we're also going to talk about how to do this in the oven if you don't have one of these and if you don't have one of these you should get one of these it's that simple all right so let's talk about the egg muffin so this today we're going to show you how to kind of make a denver omelet egg muffin and what i've got is some butter heating up on here on the stove and i'm just going to throw in the onion so i'm going to just get the onion into the pot and i'm going to make sure that this starts to uh caramelize uh, we love caramelized onions. They just taste way better than regular onions. So we will take the time to cook them down every time. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get this on the heat and just let this start cooking down. Takes a little while. Probably takes about 10 minutes for this to get really caramelized down to the point where we want it. So while we're doing that, because I believe in using your time wisely while you're in the kitchen, I'm going to start working on the eggs that go into this. So right now I've got three eggs that are cracked in here. I already cracked them for you just because you didn't need to watch that adventure um, live. And I'm going to add egg white. And egg white works. Doesn't matter what kind of egg white you want to use. I'm using um, whatever we found. <laughs> it works. Uh, I'm going to just pour it in because I know how much it is. But you just measure it out. The ratio for this is one egg and one egg white per muffin that you're making. So uh, the recipe that we posted is for six muffins. Right now I'm making enough for three because that's what we're in the process of making and I'll explain that to you as we go along. So you're gonna get the egg, the egg white in, and then you need to season it. Cause this is the place that you have the best opportunity to really make your eggs taste delicious. Uh, and so it's all about putting in the seasoning, what kind of seasoning you want. So we always start, um, we like the 21 seasoning salute blend from Trader Joe's. It's a no salts seasoning that's got lots of great flavor into it. So we love that. Um, we pretty much don't cook anything that doesn't have garlic in it. So we're gonna put a little garlic powder in there too. Because um, why not? We buy it in bulk over at, you know, the Costco Landia. Um, you always want to put a little bit of pepper and salt in as well. So I'm going to put a little black pepper in my eggs. And then we, of course, have our salt as well. So you want to get all of that in. I'm just give the onions a quick stir here as they start to cook through, which is great. And then we're going to go with our salt. We have our cute little salt spoon. You could do pinches, whatever it is. But I always like to season heavily because it's going to make the eggs taste better. So we've got eggs. We've got egg whites seasoning of your choice. And this is the thing. This is the nice thing about this recipe is you kind of get to just make it however you want to make it. Uh, for today's filling, as I'm feeding eggs, for today's filling, we're going to be doing the onions. We're going to be doing some peppers, bell peppers, and then some pancetta, uh, which is, you know, awesome kind of ham, yummy deliciousness that we love, uh, that we get from Trader Joe's as well. So you can do pancetta. The other thing that we'll often do is a mushroom uh, with goat cheese. So this is kind of Denver omelet-esque. So it's going to have the onions, the bell peppers, and the pancetta, and then we're going to throw in a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese. For the other one, we're going to usually chop up mushroom really finely and cook it thoroughly when we're cooking it on the stove with the onions. And then... Uh, we put in goat cheese instead, and we just buy crumbled goat cheese uh, from Trader Joe's and throw that in instead of cheddar, however you want. The other nice thing about this is if you're cooking for more than one person, uh, we happen to like the same thing, so we make them all taste the same. Uh, but if you happen to have folks like, I don't want cheddar, I want American or whatever, you can actually make each egg muffin unique. Um, the filling, you could even make unique too by adding it into each cup or each thing as you want. So you can get really um, creative in this. You could actually have, if, you, if you're cooking with kids, they can decide what they want in each of their own cups and make it all an adventure and people get to have what they want to have. Uh, we personally like the same thing, so it doesn't matter to us. I'm also going to put in some green onion. I'm going to throw that in with the egg mixture. It doesn't really need to cook down. It'll cook down enough in the um, in the cooking process of the egg. So I'm just making sure those get mixed in as well. So I've gotten some eggs, egg whites, all of the seasoning, and the green onion beat up here. I'm still browning up my onions, which they're getting pretty close right now, which is great. 
So while those are finishing up, I'm going to also talk about doing this in an oven. So we're going to do it in the Instapot. We're going to talk about the timing and how to do that. You can also do it in the oven in just a basic cupcake pan. This is ours. It's silicone. Makes it really easy to um, pop out. These are large size, so like actual large size cupcakes, not the little mini cupcakes, the real big size. Um, whatever you're gonna do, always spray it. We just use some really basic coconut oil spray from Trader Joe's, doesn't matter. You just wanna make sure you put something in it. You can melt butter and put that in. You just wanna give it some kind of, you know, lubricant in there to make it so when they pop out, they pop out easier. So you're gonna put them in the, cake, uh, in the muffin pans, just like I'm gonna show you in the ramekins. And then you're going to stick that in the oven. And that goes into the oven at about 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. And everybody's oven is different. We have a convection oven. Some people don't. Some people have gas. So I usually do at about 10 minutes, I'll go in and rotate them in the oven, turn them halfway. And then 10 minutes later, I'll check them again. And the way I check them is through what I call the toothpick test. You poke a toothpick in. If it comes out clean, it means the egg's cooked all the way through. And I'll show you guys that as we move along. So we have caramelized onions. They are ready. So now I'm going to add in the bell peppers. And these don't have to go in for very long. You're just letting these kind of just soften up, soften up a little bit. Nothing, not a lot of time, probably even less than a minute. I'm just going to give it a little sizzle time on the stove. Maybe turn my heat down a little bit. Let them soften up just a tad. Doesn't really need much. And then you're going to add in the pancetta. So if you don't eat meat, if you don't want to eat meat, you don't need to. This could be a completely vegetarian egg muffin. It doesn't matter. We just love the the rich, salty flavor of the pancetta, so that's why we use it. You could use bacon. You could use cubed ham. Uh, there's a lot of things that you could do in here. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, make them how you like it. If, if you prefer whatever meat it is, great, or no meat. You get to choose what goes in here. You get to have fun with the seasoning and the flavoring and all of that kind of stuff. This is the perk of this recipe. Um, the key is egg, egg ratio. So one egg, one egg white to each serving. And then you're going to just go from there to make sure that you've got it all filled out. And then I'm going to be using these glass ramekins. This is, they're kind of designed to do this inside of the instant pot um yeah so they also came from pampered chef we also use them um so if you can't tell we like a lot of pampered chef stuff um we're not distributors or anything like that we just happen to like to cook with it it makes our lives easier we like to use it a lot um if you're looking for some of it just reach out to danielle and i we can cut, put you in touch with the person we buy our stuff from who's great and super supportive but um so you're just cooking it out, making sure that some of the fat renders out of the pancetta, the peppers have rendered down, the onions are already nice and caramelized, so everything's getting nice and mixed in here. It's looking good. I'm going to actually turn the heat off just to make life easier. And I'm going to show you kind of how to assemble this, get it ready into your Instant Pot, your Pampered Chef pressure cooker, your Food Network star of your choice pressure cooker. It doesn't matter. Like I said, it's a pressure cooker. So make sure this is all nice and rendered out, and it looks like it is. All right. Here's what we do. We're going to line up our little ramekins here. Yeah, so I'm doing – what I've cooked on the stove is the half of the batch of what we put in. Um, the recipe we put on there is for a for six total, but we're just doing half right now just for the – to make it a little easier for everybody to understand and you'll understand why in a minute when I kind of walk through the final steps. So the, for the assembly, it's really easy. You put in all of whatever you cooked on the stove first equally between the ramekins that you're using. So I've got my three ramekins here, so I'm going to distribute that evenly between the three ramekins as best I can. If one gets a little bit more, yay for that one. Um, this is not meant to be, you know, Ha measured out specifically and perfectly per ramekin. You just want to make sure each ramekin gets some of the yummy deliciousness. And you can see it's just sitting here in the bottom of the ramekin. Nothing too exciting, just sitting there. And I've got my, my eggs all beat up and whipped up and ready to go. Give them one like stir, make sure nothing settled in there while I was talking. And then I'm going to pour that evenly between the three ramekins. So I usually put make the first one a little less 
get the rest in, and then I'll just top off as I see whatever I have left space for. Look at that. The more you do this, the better you get at guesstimating. Um, but what you see now is you've got the ramekin filled with egg and the stuff that you cooked. And now I'm going to go ahead and throw in my cheese. This is just grated cheddar because it goes well with the Denver omelet, like I said. You guys heard me talk about putting in the um, goat cheese when you do the mushrooms. Goat cheese and mushrooms just go really well together. That's why we like it that way. Um, so I'm going to throw in my cheddar cheese. We like a lot of cheese, so I'll be real generous. And then I usually just take whatever fork I use to whip the eggs, and I just kind of mix in all of the stuff so that the flavors and everything you cook doesn't just settle to the bottom of the random kim and they're kind of floating around inside of it. Um, so you get yourself a little bit of deliciousness all throughout when you eat this later. I'm just going to do a little quick sprinkle of cheese on the top because, you know, it's cheese. And I like cheese. So there you go. Everything's nicely mixed. Got the cheese on the top. It's all good to go. These little ramekins come with little steam releasing um, covers, which is phenomenal. Uh, if you're using something else, a lot of times you can just put aluminum foil over the top and poke, puncture a couple holes into it just to make sure that's got the little place to let the steam vent. But we've got our little holes up here, so we don't have to do that with these. They do it for us. So let me just get these lids put on. They're a little tricky, but we get them on there. Hopefully. All right, that's two. One more to go. And like I said, I'm doing, I'm showing you preparation of half the batch. Usually we do six ramekins, uh, but you'll see our method in just a minute. All right, so I've got the covers on. They're good to go. I've got a cup of water. Very exciting. Wow, a whole cup of water. Pour it right into the pot of the Instapot. And then we've got this cute little metal gizmo that we put the ramekins in. Um, a lot of Instapots will come with like just a regular metal stand on the inside that you can put um, things on top of. This is kind of designed for these ramekins, which is why we like it. They've got little spots for them to sit in nice and comfortable. So I slide them in here. It's got little handles for me to pick up. And I just place it directly into the Instant Pot. Like Now remember, like I said, you can do it in the oven. In one of these, 350 for 20 minutes. Or we can stick them in the Instant Pot. And when you have the other set of ramekins good, you just place them right on top. They fit in very nicely. We're going to take our lid for the Instant Pot. Close it up. Hopefully. There you go. Close the lid. And some Instant Pots, it's called manual, whatever. This is called custom. So we're going to choose custom. So it's on high, and we're going to set the time for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to set the, our little clock. It goes to 10 minutes. And then you're going to hit start. It's going to start running. Eventually, you want to make sure that this is closed and sealed so that the steam stays in. The little red guy is going to pop up. The timer is going to count down from, eight, or from 10 minutes down. As soon as it's done and it pops up and it's finished, which you'll see, what you'll want to do is... Just making this so I can see the message that popped up. Um, once it's done, you're going to do what's called a quick release. In the world of, of pressure cooking, it's either quick release or natural release. Natural release means you let it you hit cancel and let it sit there for about 10 minutes. Quick release means as soon as it's all cooked and ready to go and the thing has gone off, you hit cancel. You push this button to release whatever steam is there. Imagine steam flying out. Yay. You want to do this away from counters, and you want to do that also away from your face so the steam goes away from you. Once it's done, you reopen it. You want to be a little careful when you're opening it because there is still steam in there that's going to come out. And then if this had just come out, I would come out and use, like, things, safety things, so I don't burn my hands on hot metal. You pull them out. You can take the top off. And you have perfectly cooked eggs with some cheddar cheese on the top ready to go. You can eat these right away. You can stick them in a the fridge. They come with little white lids that we can put into the fridge. Uh, the reason I like doing this is usually on Sunday night, I'll make this. And for Danielle and I, we will have breakfast for the next three days. And it goes great. You can also freeze them if you want. 
Uh, takes about 45 seconds in the microwave to reheat them the next day. But that's how you make yourself your little egg muffins. Simple, easy. Same thing goes with the ones that came out of the oven. You can refrigerate them 45 seconds. Same concept, just different time of cooking. So that's how you make egg muffins. And if you have any questions, reach out to us. Let us know. And also, Danielle's going to be going live at 3 o'clock today. She's going to be using um, our our Instant Pot here to show you guys how to make ratatouille, which is our absolute favorite uh, side vegetable dish that we make. And she's going to walk you through that. So at 3 o'clock today, Danielle's going to be up. And if you have any questions about the egg muffins, ideas for how to make different like versions, whatever it is, just feel free to reach out to me. Happy to help you guys out. Cheers.